Hi there, Brian Conway here from AchieveSuccess.co.uk and welcome to 4 Minute Friday. 4 Minute Friday, I need something, don't I? Anyway, um, <laughs> let's get to the point. So if you haven't joined me before, this is where I ask for literally just 4 minutes of your time to give you some sales tips, uh, tricks, uh, cheats, hacks, strategies, tactics, whatever you want to call them, but things that will help you sell more. Sell more, make more profit and revenue, uh, earn more sales commission, whatever's appropriate. So, the clock's ticking, let's get started. Now, the catalyst behind the subject this week is the fact that I've just bought a new car. Yay! Now, for six to eight weeks ago, um, I went to three uh, local dealerships. Actually, I went to two and I rang one, to be honest with you. This was a Mercedes, this was my local BMW dealership, and then I rang a fairly local uh, second BMW dealership, uh, really just to do some price matching as you do, you know, a bit of benchmark and a bit of competitive uh, trade-off here. Now, long story short, Mercedes didn't even get a quote from them. Don't ask me what that's all about. We really don't want to go there. Um, the BMW dealership, this is the local one. This is where most of the selling was done, to be honest. Uh, this is where I did the test drive and we went through all the spec and all the options and built uh, the kind of the, the specification of what I wanted. Um, and they sent me a price and all that sort of stuff. Never heard from them again. But this BMW dealership that I rang up and gave them the spec and gave me a price, over the last six to eight weeks, very professionally and very uh, unobtrusively followed up with me. The odd phone call, the odd email, uh, just asked if I needed any additional information to make my decision. At one point, had I made my decision just so they didn't you know, bother me unnecessarily, uh, we'd negotiate a little bit over price. And this week, as I said, I placed an order with these guys here and they got the money. It's interesting, these guys had all the cost of sale, these guys made all the revenue. Now, what's the point of the story here? The message in, behind this is follow up. Follow up is king. There is so much money in the follow up, yet follow up is done in general very, very poorly with most businesses. Yes, I know, you know, we probably will do a little bit, the odd phone call, the odd email, see if somebody, but how effective do we do it? Let's think about the sales process. You might have heard me talk about my model PSPS. Customer has a problem, they look for a solution to that problem, uh, then they'll look for a product that might deliver that solution. So, I don't know, let's say it was uh, security, they might have an embedded firewall, there might be an appliance, it might be a cloud. So, there's different alternatives. So, look at different alternatives that provide the same solution, and then ultimately a supplier. This is usually where we get involved. Then there's the, an, an inquiry comes into us and we, we start the sales process. We may have to send some additional information. Eventually, we would send some kind of quotation and then hopefully at some point we would get the order and the sale. That doesn't stop there, however. We've also got the opportunity to upsell and uh, cross sell maybe other products, services that we have. Very important today in the world of cloud, we've got to drive that consumption and utilization of the services. Um, but even post there, there's still other engagement activities that could go on. We might have a customer satisfaction survey. Uh, we may um, ask for a testimonial perhaps. We may even look for referrals. Again, a very underutilized uh, sales technique. Most people, salespeople very rarely ask for referrals from happy customers. Um, so if we think about this, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 12 uh, points of potential follow-up throughout the sales process. Here, it's kind of pre-sale, we're often in serious selling, I refer to these as suspects. Here we've got our kind of prospects to the point of order, and here we have our buyers. At every, oops, at every one of these stages, there is follow-up that should happen. Follow-up is where the money is. There is so much follow-up. But why so much money, excuse me, in follow-up? So why don't we? Time. And you know me, I'm always saying, you know, we need to invest less time to make more money. So I don't want to increase your workload by saying you have to follow up all the way at every stage here. You should, but what you should now start thinking about is something called advanced automation. Now, advanced automation are systems that we can use that you can pre-configure with um, emails and the likes that will engage with your customer, not instead of you, but to complement you and to assist you. So when you get out some information, you might send a couple of emails and then follow up with a phone call. But you're building that rapport. Someone's getting to know you, like you, and trust you. Now these guys said can be all pre-configured. They are dynamic in nature, so not just standard autoresponders or emails that you might be familiar with. These will dynamically behave in a way that the customer, or react to the way the customer behaves. So it provides a very personalized and customer, um, customized experience for your customers. So 
look at advanced automation, certainly think about uh, follow up. Four minutes is up. I'm going to wrap this video up. If you want to know more about advanced automation, actually go to saleswithoutselling.com. That's saleswithoutselling.com. I've got some free training there. There's about an eight, 10 minute video that actually walks you through exactly how advanced automation could work for your business to help you uh, turn more of your um, prospects into paying customers, but without actually working any harder which is usually my goal. So thanks for your time. Listen, I hope you have a great weekend. I look forward to catching up with you next week. Brian Conway from AchieveSuccess.co.uk or saleswithoutselling.com. So free training there, you can have it. All the best. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.